Okay, so I have to say we're we're actually huge fans of yours at the site. I, uh, we 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 run a channel, Joe Blow Originals and Joe Blow Horror Originals, that we do with this series revisited, and we go back and we look at a lot of movies. And we've been on kind of a kick of doing your films lately, though, like because there's a lot a lot of classics there. Thank and you. one that, but one that's really interesting. That's been, I feel like it's been totally rediscovered. Uh, I hope you don't mind me asking about it, but uh, it was kind of ignored, I guess, when it first came out. But now, like, there's a huge cult going up around it. Is the Blob? In fact, the Blob showed up on Criterion Channel recently as part of a retrospective of '80s horror. I just, I just did a new 4K color timing on the Blob, uh, and it was, you know, I'm like, I'm glad, you know, folks still get it. But the re- one of the reasons that happened, to be honest was the distributor changed completely yeah. uh yeah. right before it was released so one of the one of the uh the dark side of hollywood is new executives are not invested in old executives movies so the, sure. the, i was very upset upon the release because it was there was very little advertising they just kind of put it out there but it was discovered in years since and uh well, again it was that was a cool group of independent filmmakers and the blob was very difficult to make work, but when I look back at the practical effects, some of it stands up pretty well. Really well. That was so. I, I watched it with my with my with my wife, who's who's you know is a bit younger and didn't see it when she was younger, and she loved it. And we were like, it looks so much better though than a movie than it would have looked if it was made ten or fifteen years later because it didn't rely on CGI. It was like practical you stuff. Know, I've seen blob esque things in CGI, yeah. and. It, and I have a whole philosophy about practical effects. I, I like to enhance things with CGI, but when you start to use, and, and believe me, I was a pioneer with the mask. With, with of course. CGI. So it's a wonderful tool. But when it's used too much or when it's used to be the antagonist of the film 100%, it works pretty good in superhero films, but in horror, there's something just not that scary. So I, I like combining practical effects with, with CGI now. And I might, I might, I may, I'm talking about returning to a horror film I think you guys would like.